Hello everyone, this is Ashutosh Tivedi, Assistant Professor in Civil Engineering Department, NSIRT under the SAGE group. Today we will discuss about column. Okay, so here we will start our lecture. So first of all, first question arises in our mind, that is what do you mean by column? So a structural member subjected to compression. Okay, and here one dimension is very long compared to another dimension. So that is called as what? Either called as column or strut. Okay. So generally the column term is denoted um, uh, by uh, denoted vertical member and a strut denoted inclined member. Okay. So here it is the example of column and strut. Column is also a such kind of a strut. Okay. Column is also a strut. When a strut is vertical, then it is known as column. And a strut is what? That is, here it is a strut. What do you mean by a strut? That is a structural member subjected to axial compressive force. That is called as a strut. A strut is maybe vertical, horizontal and inclined. Okay. The uh, difference between uh, general difference between column and strut is that that is the cross sectional area of a strut is a small. And here in this case, when we talk about column, so here the cross sectional dimension of column are uh, uh, what that is large. Yeah, that is here in this case, cross sectional dimension is less small. And here when we talk about column, so here cross sectional dimension is more. Okay. Here, uh, truss uh, where where uh, we use a strut. So here, a strut are used in what? That is either used uh, in bridge truss and roof truss. When we talk about columns, we know very well that is column is used in concrete and steel building. Okay. So it is the example of what? That is column and truss. We also discuss in this slide. Here, I clear this slide. Then is it visible? Okay, here. So this is known as a strut. When this strut is completely vertical, so this strut is known as what? Column. Mark my word, guys. Column is a structural member. Here, the loading is always compressive in nature. Here, the nature of loading is always compressive. Okay. So here, it's all about what? That is column and strut. Uh, when we talk about uh, like this here, we have actually three kind of columns are there. First is short column, then intermediate and long. So before going to this topic, let me talk about equilibrium. We know very well what do you mean by equilibrium. There are three equilibriums are there because our column goes in three equilibrium condition that's why we are discussing this that is a stable equilibrium neutral equilibrium and unstable equilibrium whenever we talk about a stable equilibrium so stable equilibrium mean what when you applied a, lo uh, a load here you applied a load on a column so this column is displayed uh, slightly and when you remove this load so this column restore their original shape or regain their original shape. Here it is the example when we applied this load here. So let us assume initially it deflect like that. And when you remove here, let us assume the intensity of load is P. So when you remove this load P, so this column regain their original shape. So that is called as what? A stable equilibrium. Here it is the another example. It is about when you applied the load on a ball, so ball moves like this here. It is there in a uh, initial uh, final position at any time. And when you remove the load, so this ball return their original shape here. Okay, so it is called as a stable equilibrium. What do you mean by neutral equilibrium when you apply the load? So this ball is here when we talk about neutral equilibrium so here it is a ball when you apply the load so ball, here it is the final position and it is their final position it does not uh, return on their uh, original position okay initial position 
okay here it is the neutral equilibrium that is neutral equilibrium is one of uh, which a body is in equilibrium on being displayed does not return to its original position but its motion is stop and resume its equilibrium state it is uh, in its new position here it is a column when you apply the load here the intensity of load is p the column is deflect like this and it is the final position of the column okay here it is the another example it is a plane surface when you apply the load on this ball so ball moves like this and here it is the final position of ball and here and also we have a next equilibrium that is called as unstable equilibrium here what do you mean by unstable equilibrium we have a column here and when we apply the load on this column so what we'll see let us assume here the intensity of load is p2 okay when we talk about stable equilibrium the intensity of load is p it is example or hypothetical value and when we apply the load on same column let us assume the column regain uh, does not regain their original shape that is the intensity of load is p1 and here when we talk about unstable equilibrium let us assume the intensity of load is p2 p1 is greater than p and p2 is greater than p1 so when we apply the load of intensity p2 so what we'll see the uh, column is deflect like this but it does not stop until this this so here that is it loses its state of equilibrium so that is why it is called as unstable equilibrium here it is the definition and unstable equilibrium is one which a body is in equilibrium on being slightly disturbed and moves away from its equilibrium position and loses its state of equilibrium here it is the another example when we apply the load on a ball so ball is continuously moving like this it does not stop it loses it its state of equilibrium okay so here it is the three type of equilibrium are there here it is the three type of equilibrium are there here we apply the load the column is buckle let us assume the intensity of load is p2 okay when we talk about like long column so we know very well that is long column r buckle okay here the failure uh, uh, in long column is due to buckling so here if we create these three condition that is neutral equilibrium uh, stable equilibrium neutral equilibrium and unstable equilibrium here that is here we apply the load of intensity p and beam is deflect like this when you remove this load beam uh, column is regain their original shape okay so that is called as what stable equilibrium stable equilibrium okay and when we talk about neutral equilibrium so when you apply the load of intensity of p1 here p1 is greater than p so column is deflect like this and it is the final position of that column it is called as neutral equilibrium that means at that case at that case our column is just ready to fail that is it is the condition of verge of failure it is the condition of verge of failure of our column and when you increase the load let us assume here we apply the load of intensity p2 of intensity of intensity p2 here the p2 is greater than p1 so obviously this column lose its state of equilibrium and it fail here that is p2 it is called as unstable equilibrium it is called as unstable equilibrium okay it is called as unstable equilibrium so here this load p1 
पी वन इज कॉल्ड एज क्रिटिकल लोड और बकलिंग लोड ओके दिस पी वन लोड इज कॉल्ड एज क्रिटिकल लोड और बकलिंग लोड इफ इट इज अ लॉन्ग कॉलम ओके सो हेयर इट्स ऑल अबाउट द इक्विलीबियम हेयर इट इज द बकलिंग लोड वी नो वेरी वेल दैट इज अ कॉलम हेयर इट इज अवर लॉन्ग कॉलम वी नो वेरी वेल अबाउट दैट when we apply the load when we apply the load on this column so this column is bent like this okay we know very well when we apply the maximum load which a column can support before becoming unstable it is known as what buckling load or it is also known as crippling load or critical load okay at this stage अब मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेस इन द कॉलम दैट मींस क्रशिंग स्ट्रेस इन द कॉलम विल बी लेस देन द ईल्ड स्ट्रेस ओके हियर द मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेस इन द कॉलम विल बी लेस देन द ईल्ड स्ट्रेस ऑफ द मटेरियल ओके वी नो वेरी वेल दैट इज अ बकलिंग टेक प्लेस अबाउट द एक्सिस हैविंग लीस्ट रेडियस ऑफ गारेशन और मिनिमम रेडियस ऑफ गारेशन और लीस्ट मोमेंट ऑफ एरिया वी नो अबाउट द रिलेशन दैट इज आई इज इक्वल टू आई इज इक्वल टू ए के स्क्वेर हेयर आई इज द सेकेंड मोमेंट ऑफ एरिया हेयर आई इज द वॉट अवर सेकेंड मोमेंट ऑफ एरिया वाई स्क्वेर इन टू डी ए और इट इज ऑल्सो टर्म डज मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया ए इज द एरिया एंड हेयर के इज द radius of gyration okay so here it is the buckling load we know very well buckling load is a what that is failure load so what do you mean by safe load when you divide buckling load to the factor of safety that means it is a load which column is subjected to and it is well below the buckling load so it is called as safe load so how you, you will find the safe load that is buckling load divided by factor of safety buckling load is divided here it is let us assume the buckling load or iler load is divided by factor of safety so you get the value of safe load okay so whenever we talk about stability factor so the a ratio of critical load to the allowable load on the column is called as stability load okay so here it is our basics of uh, column thank you so much